We will now present two other types of flip-flop, the D and the JK types. In previous videos, we studied the SR flip-flop. We observed that this flip-flop has two triggered inputs, S and R, for set and reset. We also saw that we usually add asynchronous set and reset inputs. In the function table, we see the actions of all these inputs. We also note that the s equals 1, r equals 1 input state is unassigned. We will now study two modifications of this flip-flop. In the d, or data flip-flop, the r and s inputs are tied together by a NOT gate. The flip-flop therefore performs synchronous set or reset, depending on whether the input D is 1 or 0. In effect, the flip-flop performs a synchronous latch of the input data bit D. The JK flip-flop assigns a new function, a triggered inversion, to the unused S equals 1 R equals 1 states. This is achieved by feeding the Q output back to the triggered reset input and Q bar to the triggered set input. When the S and R inputs, now called J and K, are made equal to 1, the flip flop performs a synchronized inversion of the outputs Q and Q bar. This operation is called a toggle. This timing diagram shows two successive toggles, followed by a synchronous set. The function table shows all these operations. The toggle operation is shown in the bottom row. 